Keep it simple phone tech here and today we're going to talk about performing a master reset on your Samsung phone but not doing it through the settings. We're going to do it in recovery mode. A disclaimer before we get into this video. This video is intended for those who are essentially either locked out of their phone or they cannot get their phone to their home screen so their phone is stuck in boot mode for example. Uh, this video is intended to be able to learn how to get into recovery mode so that you can do a master reset to, in hopes of getting your phone back to a usable state again, getting it back to the setup screen, load it back up, you can use the phone like normal. That said, if you haven't backed up your information, just be prepared to lose everything if you're in this position having to review this video. Um, so hopefully you've backed up your information before your phone is in such a position where you're locked out or stuck on a boot screen. If not, just be prepared. You're going to lose everything. But the good news is, is that you'll be able to use your phone again. Okay, so first, briefly, let's just talk about recovery mode. Now, recovery mode is not going to be found anywhere on your home screen. It's not going to be found within your apps section nor is it going to be found in your settings. So recovery mode is a separate section on your phone and again that's really the primary purpose of this video. The secondary purpose is really how to do the master reset. Um, but the recovery mode is built within your phone for when you can't get to this part of your phone. You can't get to your home screen. You can't get into your apps you can't get into your settings. Basically, your phone won't load up like normal. And so then in that case, recovery mode is designed for when you cannot get to your phone to load up to the home screen, or you cannot get to your phone to get to this point, back to your main screen on your phone. Okay, so here are a few examples as to why you would want to try to get into recovery mode. Uh, one good example is if you are locked out of your phone. So you go to try your fingerprint, for example, and you try your fingerprint, and you try your fingerprint, and it doesn't work, and then you try to enter your code, and your code is an incorrect PIN. And you end up with messages like this, where it tells you to try again. Uh, that's one example when you're just totally locked out of your phone. A second example is when you find yourself either stuck on this screen and your phone won't go any further, or if you find yourself stuck on one of the other boot screens on your phone as your phone is loading up. So sometimes you'll find yourself even stuck on this screen as well, the carrier screen. So whether you find yourself stuck on the Samsung logo screen or if you find yourself stuck on the carrier screen. That's a second example as to why you would want to attempt to load your phone into recovery mode. The third example for loading into recovery mode is really similar to the second example in that your phone, it'll start to load up and go through the boot process, go to the Samsung screen, go through the carrier screen like normal, but then the phone will shut down and it'll turn back on again on its own and it'll look like it'll go through the boot process like normal, shut down, turn back on. So your phone never gets to the home screen or it may even get to the lock screen and then it'll shut down and it'll reboot. So you never get a chance to make it to the home screen. That's a third example as to why you would want to attempt to load into recovery mode. All right, so now that we have some examples as to why we would go into recovery mode, let's talk about actually how to go into recovery mode. And then once we're in recovery mode, we'll talk about how to ultimately do the master reset. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure your phone is turned off completely. And so my phone is turned off completely right, right now. You cannot get into the recovery mode unless your phone is shut down completely. If your phone is stuck in that boot loop that we talked about to where it, it gets to the Samsung screen or if it gets to the carrier screen and it shuts off and turns back on, 
uh, or if it's just stuck on a Samsung screen or your carrier screen, try pressing and holding the power button, uh, wherever that power button may be on your Samsung. Press and hold it for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. A lot of times it'll get the phone to just shut off completely. Now, if you have a removable battery and that step does not work, then just remove the battery again for about 20 30 seconds put the battery back inside the phone that should have the phone shut off completely for you if pressing and holding the power button doesn't work out for you and you do not have a removable battery on your phone in that case just let the phone run its course I let it go through the whole boot process there and keep doing it over and over again uh, let it stay stuck on the boot screen if that's the case for you just set it aside if it takes a couple of hours, I mean, that's that's what it's going to take, but you're going to need to let it run its course until it shuts off completely. Once it shuts off completely, once the battery is dead, that is, then of course the phone is turned off. Hook the phone up to the charger once the phone is completely dead. Uh, let it charge for about 30 to 45 minutes. At that point, the phone will still be turned off and you'll have enough power in order to be able to attempt to go into recovery mode. All right, so once you have your phone shut down completely, from here it is a two-step process to get into the recovery mode. The first step is that we're going to hold down three buttons on the phone at the same time. Those three buttons are your volume up key, your home key, and then lastly, your power key. And the reason the power key is last in the sequence is because if you press the power button first or second and it not be the last key that you press, the phone will just turn on like normal. It'll attempt to boot up like normal. All right, so now that we know the three keys, let's go ahead and turn our phone over into portrait mode, if you will. So in this direction, it makes it a little bit easier to reach all three keys. If your phone has, instead of two separate volume buttons, if it's just like one long rocker switch, the upper portion of that rocker switch will represent your volume up. So just go ahead and hold that. So we're going to hold volume up. We're going to hold home. And we're going to hold power. Again, this is step one. Step two comes immediately after the screen turns on. All right, so let me go ahead and do this here. Here's step one, we're holding all three buttons. Screen turns on. Step two, release the power button only. See how I'm still holding the volume up and the home buttons? And then from here, you're gonna see one of two things depending on the phone that you have and the operating system that you have. If you see the little Android robot, go ahead and release those other two buttons, the volume up and the home. You don't need to hold those anymore. And then just give it a moment, the robot will eventually disappear and you will get the Android recovery mode or recovery screen. On some phones, once you release the power button, it'll just skip right from the boot screen and go right into this mode here. So if you don't get the little Android robot in between, that's fine. The main thing is that we're looking for this screen. This puts us into the recovery mode that we're looking for. Next, now we're doing the master reset. And so from here, even though you see options on screen, it's not touch screen. So the instructions, let me see if we can get this without all of that glare from the light. But the instructions, you're gonna use either volume up or volume down to scroll and you're gonna use the power button to make the selection. So, the option that we're looking for for a reset, if you can see that, let me see if I can get it a little closer without the glare. Wipe data factory reset. I'm gonna use the volume down key to scroll to that option. And once I have it highlighted, I'm just gonna press the power button. I don't have to hold the power button. Just give it one quick press. Let's see if I can get that into focus without the glare without the light there. Well, it may not focus, but again, you're looking for wipe, data, factory reset. We'll press the power button. And from here, it's basically asking us if we're sure we want to do this. 
you have no and yes. On some of the phones, you might see no seven or eight times, and then yes is sort of caught in the middle of the options. Um, but in either case, use volume down to select yes. Once you've selected yes, press the power button. You don't have to hold it, just press it. And that will start the master reset process. After a few moments, you're going to come back to this screen. The recovery mode option list that we saw when we first loaded into the recovery mode. But then towards the bottom of the screen, you should have some content that gives you indication that the data wipe is complete. And you'll see if you can read that right there, it says data wipe complete. Once you see that, you know that the master reset is about halfway done. And to complete the process, the very first option on this list is reboot system now. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. Let's see if we can get it close without the light. Reboot system now. Since it's already highlighted on that by default, we're just going to press the power button again. And it will go through the second stage of the master reset. Now don't be surprised if after you've selected wipe data factory reset and then selected yes, that your phone skips over and goes right into the uh, boot sequence. Um, sometimes some of these Android phones, or some of these Samsung Android phones specifically, won't have that additional step of taking you back to the recovery mode screen options with the reboot system now step. Sometimes it'll just go right into the boot sequence and then begin the second stage of the master reset. If it does that, that's fine. It's still completing the master reset. From that point, what you're looking for is you're just waiting for the phone to go through the boot sequence like normal. The exception to the like normal part is that it's going to take a little bit longer than usual. So whereas your phone may take 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute for it to go through the boot sequence, when it's completing the master reset, it may take two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, depending on how much content has to be erased from your phone. So you're going to see your phone go through the normal boot sequence, and what you'll see a lot of times is like what you're seeing here. We've got the carrier screen as far as a normal boot sequence, but it's just going to stay on that screen for a long time. That's normal, so don't be alarmed. Again, it can take up to ten minutes, is what I found on some of the phones. So it's completing the master reset now, and then once it's done, it's going to take you back to the setup page. Once the master reset is complete, you should see a screen something like this. This is going to be your setup screen. So if you've made it to this point, and especially if your phone was stuck in the boot loop or stuck on the boot screen, then you are back in business. You can go ahead and just set up your phone and you'll be able to use your phone like normal. Uh, only in a few instances have I seen to where if the phone gets this far, you're able to set it up just fine. And you had that boot screen problem before. Have I seen that immediately come back? Um, nine times out of ten, if you reach this point and your phone was stuck in that boot loop or on a boot screen, then you are back in business. You just go through the setup process and then you can use your phone like normal again. And if you were just password locked out or fingerprint locked out, then you're unlocked. You just go through the setup process, you're able to use your phone like normal. And in either case, hopefully you had your information backed up. If you did not have your information backed up, the consolation prize is that you get a chance to use your phone again like normal. You just have to go back and rebuild your contact database, uh, add new pictures, etc. So that's it. That is the Samsung Master Reset in recovery mode. And again, you would use this if you're locked out of your phone, if your phone won't get past the boot screen, if it, you can't get your phone back to the home screen. This is the go-to move that Samsung has in place. 
to help you to make your phone usable to put it back into a normal state for you again. I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech, and thank you very much for watching.